Brian Vertical Heights. I have some stuff that I want to talk about, but as far as the towing contract goes, having a tower pay $50,000 is insane. It's just, it's set up for corruption, and this is wilkes -Barre. There's something going down every week in this area for corruption, so I don't know what you could do. If you could have it so every towing company could be a part of it or whatever, and you could cap the fees, but please, don't charge $50,000, because the same thing's going to happen again. All right. Hallelujah. I'd like to thank Bob Kotlebosky for providing information that caught yet another criminal in our area and for catching a man who robbed a flower shop. He was just recently sentenced to several years in jail, and I hope one day that he gets the acknowledgement he deserves from this administration. The questions on Facebook on the official mayor's page should be answered by him. 95% of the questions go unanswered. I believe people who pay taxes have a right to have their questions heard and answered. Not everyone can go to these council meetings, and there are many of us who want to see people's questions and concerns and how the mayor addresses them. I really wish the city would take preventative measures instead of just reactionary measures. The woman intact in Kingston on the dike was on May 9th, and the man who spoke to council about the dire situation in the park spoke on the 27th of May. It's shameful that a private citizen has to do the job of the police, and the problem is only addressed by the chief of police after a story in the Times Leader is written about the man and his efforts to clean up the park. Chief DeSoy was recently quoted in the paper as saying, most officers don't want to get out of the car to patrol. Does he not understand that he is the chief of police? Our city has gone to the dogs. I think it's about time that we have Chief DeSoy meeting with the public in an open forum every other month to answer questions about how the police are helping the situation. What's the status of Sherman Hills and the security improvements? I talked to a police officer who said the police do private duty there, but it's not 24-7. It has been nearly a year since those two little girls were shot and almost killed. It's insane to me that when I go to the Wyoming Valley Mall, I see four or five security guards on duty walking around, yet Sherman Hills doesn't have their own security. I will not allow this to be swept under the rug yet again. Sherman Hills should have constant 24-7 private security, an extensive camera system, fences, gates, key codes as well to get into the buildings. You should have to sign in as well, and the trespasser should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And everybody here knows if Sherman Hills was next to King's College or Wilkes or Barney Farms, that none of this nonsense would be going on at all. Everything should be treated equally in Wilkes-Barre. The roads in Wilkes-Barre are absolute garbage, and most of the parks are absolute garbage. It enrages me when I, go, when I see the casino slot fund revenue share and go towards Wilkes, King's, and the Hawkeye camera system. I bet everything I own and say that Bob Pavlovsky has caught more criminals than the Hawkeye camera system. It amazes me the answers I've been given about the Hawkeye camera system. You can't even give me one court case in which it was used or give me an estimate of how many times it's been used in court. I've seen one picture posted from it on Facebook, and that was from the Intermodal a few months back. I can't change the past, but to justify the money going towards that when our roads and parks are so crappy, it's insane. How do you feel if you work for a company of a thousand people and instead of giving you everybody a thousand dollar bonus to everyone, they told you they couldn't do that and the CEO got a million dollar bonus and you got nothing? You'd be very angry. Parsons Park in Wilkes-Barre, the basketball hoops are in terrible shape, some are bent, and it's been that way for ten years. My brother and I used to buy nets for the hoops and put them up ourselves. If the city can't even spend a couple dollars on the nets for the basketball hoops, that's sad. Thank you. Sherman Hills, I know, recently changed ownership, and can you give us a, a maybe you don't know, as to where the plan for the security improvements falls with the new owners? The only thing I, I do know, a few weeks ago we met with the um, representative of the new owners, and um, he was going to work on uh, shoring up the Sherman Hills entrance, better, you know, the one that comes off across from the park because that is a very dangerous spot. But um, he's moving forward with trying to make improvements. He said right now um, he didn't believe the uh, investment in 24-7 security would happen. However, he did have a plan that he was going to go back to the um, zoning board with a, um, a guard station and two access points with gates. And um, it's just going to be a different one than what the previous owner had proposed. So that's where it stands right now. They're still looking into how to handle the security issues. If, can we schedule a meeting with these people? I mean, I would love to be there and the other council members of my Sure. Have their questions addressed as to where we're going. It was just 
large scale security improvement plan that the previous owners had come up with. And I want to see how that compares to what the new owners are trying to do. And basically, we have as soon as possible. Sure. Uh, one thing as far as your Hawkeye question, um, that board meeting is on the last Wednesday of every month at 4 o'clock on the third floor of the conference room. You, I'm sorry. If you could see me after the meeting, give me your phone number. I'll, I'll let you know when you're at. Okay. They're as needed now. I just right. don't know what that date will be. Excuse me, Mr. Barrett, one more yes. comment. Yes. Because this is the second time this has been brought up about a quote from Chief Desoy about the officers not getting out of the car. That quote was taken out of context when it was printed in the paper. So that the rest of the comment was not made, but it was along the lines of you state how you stated that they don't walk into the woods. It makes more sense to drive on patrol. And uh, it was not completed by the newspaper. It wasn't either of the reporters that are sitting here right now. Thank you for the clarification. Council members, anything else on Mr. Verdick? Mr. Verdick, would you be so kind as to um, just get uh, this phone number on there? I wanted to get back to something else we brought up last night. I couldn't find the number.